Corn, soybeans, wheat all pushing higher on Tuesday amid rising tensions in Ukraine after Russia suspended the Black Sea grain deal. Ag Day's Michelle Rook is here with a deeper dive in markets now. Grains mostly higher on Tuesday with a mixed day in the livestock futures. Brad Coima with Coima Coima Varlick is joining us. And Brad, let's talk about the grains first. Corn and soybeans looked like we were putting weather premium back in those markets. Absolutely. I think that was the story of the day, Michelle, maybe with a little help from the Russia story. Uh, but uh, it's certainly a, a situation here where the not this week, but next week's weather looks to be maybe not inflammatorily hot, but uh, but certainly a warmer, drier uh, and, and I think the, the trade responded to today to some of those areas that have been living hand to mouth, right, without any subsoil moisture, you know, are, are, are probably going to put themselves in a pretty stressy situation again. And pollination time probably hitting at a poor time for some of those people, too. So I sure think that that hotter forecast for next week uh, had an awful lot to do with why we, we cranked it up here today. So let's talk about technicals because we're up into some key resistance areas in corn. If we get through those, will the funds cover their shorts? That's a great question. And I was working on that today as well. Uh, we closed right into an area where there's about three different reasons to expect some trouble here or resistance here, I should say, uh, right at the 38 percent at the 40 day uh, at that, that that old level of 537 and a half. If you pull out a chart, you'll see how important that's been to the algos lately. Um, to answer your question, I think that you probably would have to get someplace north of the 50 percent retracement, which, which is in that 555 area. Uh, and then we maybe start to see them come out. And the higher corn weight on the feeders, but an impressive day to close those live cattle futures higher on Tuesday. In a word, wow. Yeah, this is out of the norm. Uh, typically, when we have that sharply higher corn, the feeders break, take the fats with it. It wasn't the case at all today. Uh, we got within striking distance here of contract highs on almost all the months. Uh, and and I think cash is king. Uh, the way that cash market finished last Friday at 188 around here, uh, some talk of some cattle at uh, you know 183 in, in the in the south where they had to pay some freight on, but still a, a different level for them. Um, yeah, I, I think to, I think we, we just see a deal where the, the, the people keep selling into it, which would have been seasonally right, but certainly it doesn't seem like it's working for anybody, right? Uh, so uh, discount, uh, all of that, we've had huge fun selling here in the August cattle and still doesn't go down. Uh, you know, all that roll that went on. Very, very impressive action on the live cattle for sure. And probably will take out those contract ties as a result. Thanks for joining us, Brad Coima with Coima Coima Varlick. That's Markets Now. More Ag Day coming up.